So Dirt has been a massive part of this channel and we now have a brand new Dirt game, Dirt 5. It comes out on the 6th of November. I wanna say a quick little thank you to Codemasters who sent me a code early. I am playing this currently on Xbox One X in 4K and I will be upgrading to the Xbox Series X next gen as we progress through the series. Once the update is available, I will switch to that console, just so you guys are aware. The video should still be in 4K. Very excited to check this game out. Apparently it can go all the way to 120 FPS on next gen. Welcome back to the Dirt Podcast by Donut Media. I am your host, James Pumphrey, and I'm with the one and only Nolan Sykes. Say hi, Nolan. Hi, Nolan. You're a terrible man, and this is everything that's coming up on the full Donut Podcast. We're talking disciplines, ice racing, land rush, sprint, extreme technical off-road. We are deep diving different types of driving. We're going to be talking superstars. We got opinions on AJ. Can the most decorated, most entertaining driver in the dirt off-road series keep this main event win streak going forever we're talking challengers we got something to say about bruno durand the man that can do two and now four wheels he's lit a fire under this series and seems unstoppable right now is he really set to dominate this year but first we are talking rookies we're gonna want to be up to speed <laughs> with the pick of the current crop, because they might one day make the leap to the dirt off-road series, and you'll want to be there from the very start. So, let's go. The very first race in career mode is about to go down, and I'm in a Skoda. Madness. I've turned the music off, uh, just because of copyright reasons, but obviously there will be music on right now. Uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, any sort of music, YouTube, like, no. Nope. Not having that. <laughs> Not a chance. So I need to hit 70 miles an hour, which I've done already. Do a drift overtake. That's possible. I can do that. So drift and an overtake at the same time. It's weird for a first event to be a Skoda. <laughs> what is that about? I don't approve of that. No offense if you have a Skoda. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we did it! All the objectives are done. I believe they're called uh, stamps. So they're the objectives we have during the events. Obviously you want to come first, of course. But you also want to do the objectives. Yeah, so I've seen a lot of early gameplay on this and... I wasn't completely sure about the graphics, but playing it in person... Hopefully you guys can see it in 4K, hopefully. It looks pretty good. In motion. And the handling, oh, it feels like dirt free. I love it. I love the handling model and it, it's definitely back. I wasn't quite 100% behind dirt 4. But I'll, see feel, I'll see it feels a little bit arcadey, of course, but it feels nice. There's definitely an element of sim there as well. And it's running so nicely. Oh, I love it. So nicely indeed. Good old cockpit view. I'm dominating as I always do in racing games. <laughs> I'm gonna regret that now. Nice little puddles. So I don't think this game has ray tracing on next gen either. Uh, but still, 120 FPS for a console game. We've basically gone from 30 FPS to 120. Who, who even has a TV that can do that? No, I don't. <laughs> I've got a 4K 60fps uh, monitor. That's, that's all I've got. I don't know what my TV does actually. I know it's 4K, it might be 60. Definitely 120 though. Definitely not. I guess this is the the next gen racing game, isn't it? As well. We don't really have a Forza. Uh, Gran Turismo's not out. So, yeah, this is the. Oh, don't screw up now, Scott. I love how the vehicle's got a bit dirty as well. That's a nice touch. And I've gone for my number, um, 44. I always go for 44 because of my man, Lewis Hamilton. I love 44. That's the number I always pick in video games. And of course, I've gone for the UK as well. Representing my country. It's what I do. There's a little bit of um, distress on the vehicle. A bit of damage. 
There's the podium. I'm at the top, of course. Where I belong. A few scratches. So I believe we've done all the objectives. Yes. Yes. Woo. So you got was it XP, rep, and then money. Is that right? I think. Is that how it works? $18,000. Unlock some new patterns, some textures. Don't quite know how they, how they work yet, but... Obviously, this is the first event. Stickers. Hey there. If you're listening to this message, then uh, congratulations. Not only did you enter your details correctly, but you also impressed me. Impressed me enough that I'm going to invite you to the AJ Racing Academy. As you may have guessed, it's been set up by yours truly, and my one and only goal is to push you out there a bit more. I'll throw you in the deep end and see if you can swim. Make Team AJ a dominant force in the world of extreme motorsports. So, you know, no pressure. Well, that's you all signed up. Welcome to the club. Now listen, I know you just want to get out there and wreck some tires, but just hold up a minute. I've curated a whole bunch of events you might be interested in, and I'm giving you, yes, you, the luxury of choice. No need to thank me. See what takes your fancy and just jump right in. If you find a style you really connect with, then by all means, stick with it. But you can always mix it up with something a bit different. Hey, you never know where you might make a name for yourself. And this is all about making a name for yourself, right? Yes. Yes, I am right. So yes, AJ is Troy Baker. Troy Baker is in a dirt game. Madness. So Troy Baker, obviously, um, he's in Bioshock Infinite, uh, Shadow of Mordor, Last of Us. What? It's madness. Anyway, uh, completing an event will unlock connected events. Hence those little lines. I, I, I got it. I got it. Selecting an event lets you review the event details and go to the track. Got it. Every event can give you stamps depending on your position. Okay. So, so far we have three stamps. So we've done that. So we have Lamb Rush or Rally Raid. Uh, let's go for Rally Raid. Let's begin the second race of our career mode. We have 18,000 available. So I'm guess, I guess I'm sticking with a Skoda for now. Can we like maybe customize it a little bit? We can inspect it. Open the door. Whoa, that's a good looking vehicle. The car models are really good, actually. Really impressive. Look at the engine. Normally, it's a, a pretty, like, pretty much like a default looking engine. That's really nice. Impressive. So I've changed the rims to black. Also tempted to turn the vehicle to black as well. It's a completely black Skoda. Stealth. Yeah, why not? Looking good. But there is obviously uh, patterns and stuff you can do as well. There's a couple we can select from. Actually, I do quite like pattern three. Oh, that's level 32. Okay. <laughs> I can't get that currently. Fair enough. All right, fine. So, yeah, none. Perfect. Save and quit. Going for a nice, clean, black Skoda. With black rims. Mm. And we get... Oh, nice! I don't know what I did, but... Oh, there you go. Save your first customization livery. I must, have, I must admit, the green rims are pretty nice. But yeah, we're going for the full black look. I must admit, I can't wait to play this game on next-gen consoles. I want to play it in so bad and play it. I want to. I don't believe the updates are currently, but obviously when you guys get your next-gen consoles, you will have it. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It will be ready. So drift and overtake, jump and trade paint at the same time. Whoa! Oh, I was asking for that. That was a horrible corner. Ouch. I, I was got a little bit lost there, not gonna lie. A little bit dusty. Around the outside. Come on, find that grip. Flares are popping off. Yeah, for everyone, this is the, the racing game we would be playing on next gen consoles for the foreseeable future, I guess. Until a new one comes out. God knows when that is. Drift and have a take, jump and trip. Got it, got it, got it. Pretty sure this is a track I've seen a little bit in the early coverage. I wasn't jealous when I was seeing this coverage, I promise. I was quite a bit jealous, actually. I was very jealous. <laughs> I was like, why can't I play it? Let me play it. I'm gonna try and get, I need to get a little bit closer. Try and do that drift and overtake. I wanna do my objectives. I actually have no idea what difficulty this is. I've got no idea. I've not, I've not changed it at all yet. That would be interesting. 
interesting to find out. Give me that drift and overtake. I can't do it. It's too tricky. It's so hard. Quite light, it's getting dark pretty quickly. A little bit dingy. Currently, not doing many objectives though. I'm <sighs> if I was fully focused on the race, I would have flown into the lead. There'd be no issues, but of course, I'm trying to get these objectives done. I'm going for a Come on! I've lost so many places! I'm now sick! Oh, look at the light in the background. Oh, love the weather changing. Very nicely done. It's getting more muddy as well. Yes, I've done a drift and overtake! Yay! Now i got time to finish first. Come on! Sorry. Woo! Fireworks. I don't tell objective. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ace. I love how it just changed as I was playing there. It was quite bright, nice and sunny. Clouds come in, gets dark, the rain kicks in, the floor's getting wetter. Woo! That was crazy. Guess who's up the top? Oh yeah, number 44, the black Skoda, Stealth. There he is, look at him. Look, he looks gorgeous. He's absolutely gorgeous. Have we leveled up? No, we have not. So that's the base level. I'm not quite sure. I guess it's just like a separate... I'm not quite sure what that means, the, uh, the rep. What does it do? I guess we'll find out. Sponsor bonuses, 36,000 in one event. I've got zero unlocks. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. I guess because we didn't level up, so. Fair enough. So we've now unlocked so, Stampede. So, speaking of the current crop of racers, did you remember the name of that rookie that you were telling me about the other day? Ace? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, kind of funky name. Gonna be honest, a little jealous. Hey now, man. James is a great, strong name. I really appreciate that, bud. Thank you. Did you know that it's a popular boy's name? It means supplanter or one who follows you know in the 17th century scotland are you reading off the internet i would i would never no one i can see your phone put it away you're just reading off the internet <sighs> okay uh you're an amazing wealth of information nolan i'm sure people tuned into this to listen to name meanings let's talk about cars and racing okay random uh should we do stampede okay i think those guys have their own like youtube channel as well very impressive. And they're actually in the game. Very jealous. I actually want to, at some point, being in a game. It sounds a bit weird, but even like my avatar or something in a video game would be so freaking cool. Maybe one day. One day. Who knows? Uh, we'll stick with the blue. Yeah. A new vehicle, guys. Woo! What's that sound? Is it thunder? Wrong! It's a stampede, but not of the traditional variety. Uh, snakes? Buff horses? Wrong again! These thoroughbred animals run on gasoline and grit, throwing themselves into a pack of other racers across hard, natural landscapes. Oh, cars. I should have known. That's what this whole series is about, dude. It's all we talk about. Circuits are constructed on rough and often unmarked desert terrain with varied steepness and lots of jumps to be tackled. Saddle up, partner. It's a stampede! <laughs> ah! It's okay, fair enough. I guess it makes sense. A load of vehicles going at extreme speeds, big engines, big wheels would make quite the sound. It would sound it would sound like a stampede. Let's get it done, guys. Another victor in the bag, hopefully. Let's do it. Oh, the models look so nice in the cars. Mm. So good. 
Right, drift and overtake again. Oh, why? Exceed 70 miles an hour, which obviously is easily doable. Whoa, what happened to you? Why is another vehicle? And not in a sexual manner at all. I tried to go for the drift early on here. No, uh, that's gone wrong. That was, was, that, was that, it was a drift. Yes. Okay. Good. Try and stay in first. Is that for... That can't be 105 seconds. Is that milliseconds? <laughs> I don't know what it is. There we go. All the objectives are done. We can now fully focus on getting the victory. It's getting dark, isn't it? It's very dark. I know naturally in the cockpit it does get a bit dark now, but still. It is a really hard thing to do, to do a really impressive, interesting career mode for a racing game. It just, it just is. It's a, it's a hard thing to nail. I'm hoping they've done it. I mean, they've got Nolan North, Troy Baker involved. I think that definitely helps. Um, I'm guessing we are the, the eighth driver they're talking about. The new rookie, who's uh, blowing the world by storm, causing absolute chaos in the racing world. That's us. Come out of nowhere, winning all the time. I see what I should do after this is look at the wall. Um, the driving options as a big jump rally. Long jump. And those achievements. 50 meters, damn. That was fun. I'm trying to think what will be the next racing game as well. What will be the next sort of ne next gen racing game? I'm I'm guessing this is a complete guess. I think Grand Theft is going to come out first. Complete guess before falls up. Would there be any other games? I know Code Masters are always really busy. Uh, maybe they're working on a, a new like dirt rally next gen game. Yes, I'm down for that. The thing is, with the, the current gen, so the PS4, Xbox One, there's 110 million PS4s. So it's very hard to go, oh yeah, let's just do a purely next-gen game. Because obviously the audience is so much smaller. I'm sure it's tempting, but yeah, that is a, that is a concern. We're doing that um, All-Stars game, which is more like a combat racing game. Or it's a combat vehicle game. That's coming out next year on PS5. This has been a complete dominant victory. The car's been great. Handles lovely. It's quick. No mistakes. Smooth as can be. <laughs> Whoa. That was in the air for a while. Well, that was fun. Yeah, I'm loving this game so far. It feels like dirt free which is a, a massive thumbs up from me a big thumbs up yeah we're gonna check the difficult difficulty options uh is damage on stuff like that uh right now i promise ace yeah we're the ace the new the new driver on the block we skip through this oh we can nice bit of extra ramp i feel like we're getting quite a bit of money already which I'm down for. I guess we're winning a new livery, a nomad livery as well, a new texture, a new vampire sticker, four unlocks. Right, so let's go and check the difficulty options. There should, where, should, where, where would it be? Uh, profile? I don't know. Settings? Ah, there we go. Ah, so it's currently on medium. I feel like we should turn that up a little bit. Oh, we've got medium, hard, very hard. Let's go for hard at least. Trash control, low. It's all low. Also, thank God that's off. Trickster. Ooh. What that does. Enables a handling model that makes the vehicle easier to drift. That could be quite useful, I guess. I don't need it, of course. <laughs> Professional and all that. 
Right, back to career mode. It should now be a little bit harder. I might even turn it up again, potentially. We'll see what happens. Let's do... Let's do a land rush. Yep, let's do it. Oh, man. Is that what we're going to be driving? What? Okay, that's a beast. That's a monster. I hope you got some sick coilovers because this land rush is gonna wreck your day. Ah, uh, James, I gotta go. I left my sick coilovers at home. Nolan, you're gonna need them. With rough circuits filled with tight turns and technical straights, small jumps that jostle you around, and a couple of big old boys to really test your suspension. Dirt or snow, anything goes. Buckle up, Cupcake, this is land rush. Thanks, Buttercup. Weren't you supposed to be gone already? It's like a tractor on wheels. Makes no sense. Okay, this thing is a monster. What am I driving here? It looks like a really low tractor. <laughs> what is this? Jump and trade paint. Drift and overtake. Did it. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. So, with the jump and trade paint, do I need to trade paint while in the air? I'll just do both of them. I don't. I don't. I don't, that. <laughs> I don't quite understand what they want from me. Wee! That that was yeah that okay that works. So I collided with someone in the air, and it cancelled. This has very intriguing handling. It just wants to drift all the time. Sounds awesome. That is a nice sound. Very nice. So that's three multiple laps. For the first lap, yep. So it's always that decision what do I do in terms of the camera angle? Do I go for a cockpit view, a chase cam? We can never ever decide in the comments. People just love either. And sometimes hate the other option as well. So it's a really difficult thing to do. So what I tend to do is switch on the flyer. That's what, that's what I tend to do. Oh, look at it just drifting. Look at those tires. Like flippers. How's it going on the water? It hovers potentially. Yeah, right there. Splash. Woohoo! This game is ridiculous. I love it. I'm actually a little bit controversial here, I guess, but I'm really looking forward to trying this game also. I might actually ask for a PS5 copy because I want to try this game out with the new controller. I reckon that could be a massive selling point. And so good it is. The haptic feedback for racing games could be incredible. Could be if it's done well enough. Like maybe the brakes a bit stiffer or sort of just feel the acceleration through the uh, through the triggers. You get obviously a slight sort of rumble on the Xbox, but it's quite artificial. Immersion. Last lap though, last corner. Splash! Done. What a vehicle. A little bit drifty at times. Would have been nice to have a bit more, a bit more grip, but yeah. Awesome. Also love playground mode on this game. Basically where you can make your own level, your own event, and you can just upload it. Anyone can play it. It's, yeah, that's really going to imp improve the longevity of the game. There's a lot of really cool play playground modes on already. But once the creative people jump on the game, it's going to be yeah, some awesome events. Awesome events indeed. My rep is increasing. My dirt dollars, literally called dirt dollars. <laughs> Fair enough. Six unlocks as well. Hmm. Right, so I want to make doubly sure that I definitely saved that difficulty option. Because that didn't... Oh, man, I didn't, did not save it? No, one sec.
I did save it. Do I go up again? I guess. So now I'm very hard. Okay. Okay, that's that's worrying. Anyway, Ultra Cross. We are going to Norway. I actually think this will be... I reckon I'm going to struggle with this one. I, ha I played this event um, early on. And... Yeah, I, I struggled. I don't know why. I've now got a really bad feeling. <laughs> a really bad feeling. So, the Skoda's got A performance, B handling. Oh, double A. The Citroen C3. Interesting. Is that worth a purchase? Uh, I do have enough money. I've got 72,000 now. Or do we stick with the Skoda? I'm going to stick with the Skoda. Also, I'm going to go back and change my difficulty settings because I'm worried about this one. I think I might get destroyed. I'm getting a little bit too cocky. I've done this before, this event, and it was really, really difficult. So, yeah, I'm sticking with half for now. So, does it have leaderboards? It does. Okay, that's interesting. So, my previous event, I thought I did fairly well on that. Where did we come? Fifth in the world. I know the game isn't officially out, but I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take it. Right, let's do the uh, let's do this event in a Skoda. I'm not gonna buy a new vehicle yet. I'm just gonna hold off for now. So Ultra Cross is basically blending the elements. We've got tarmac, we've got off-road, a bit of everything, I guess. Let's give it a good go, my friends. Why is this game so obsessed with drifting and overtaking? <laughs> There we go. First objective done. Drift and trade paints. Does that count? <laughs> Surely that counts. Oh, come on. What do you want from me? Does that not count? It does count, but I'm now in last place. Great. Right, let's do this. Basically starting from scratch, I guess. Right at the back. Um, I've still got those hard settings on as well. I might be asking a lot of myself here, but we've still got multiple laps to go. I've just got a race within myself. Just try and dominate. Try and race well and get a victory. Try not go too wide. Like that. This will definitely, for me, I think, be the hardest event we've done so far. I mean, that shocking start isn't going to help. I'm five seconds behind. What happened there? I'm 11th. Okay, I'm guessing he crashed and he just respawned in. Flip the car or something, I guess. Close the gap. Close the gap. Let's do it. Here come the elements. Here comes the snow. Come on! I've got a long way to go here. A long way to go. So hard. See, if we had this on very hard now, it would be over. 100%. Over, over. It's over anyway, but even more so. Oh, this corner does me in. Damn! There's so much time in that one corner. But up to 10. If we can just somehow get on the podium, I think that'd be pretty good. I'm asking a lot of myself here. I'm asking a lot, a lot. The snow, the grip is going. It's officially going. I don't know where it's going, but it's going somewhere. Where did you come from? I knew this event was going to be hard. I was holding in on it. I did say. Whoa. Oh. Damn it. Shall I restart? Where to find the, the excess speeds? I need to find a lot, I just can't. Still got one lap to go. Let's just keep going. Let's just see what happens if we don't win the race. That's nice. 
Come on, need a bit more power, Skoda. Oh, that's not going to help. Oh, you arse. Absolute arse. Arse, arse, arse. What is it with that corner? God damn. Cannot. See, now I'm fighting with others. I'm now losing time to the leader. It's been like pretty much five seconds the whole race. What is going on here? I'm getting ambushed. Fuck. So I just tried this event, and as predicted, um, it is a challenge. 100%. 100% a challenge. So I'm definitely pleased I, I, I turned it down a little bit. Definitely pleased. There you go. We've done two overtakes. Now time for 70 miles an hour. You stop pushing me, you fool. Ouch. Let's keep the throttle down. Do not lift. Do not lift. Oh, that got a bit algy bargy. Man, they are racy. Very, very racy indeed. They're, they're up for this, aren't they? Nice little line of cars. Bounced off that car in front. Not ideal. Keep the power down. Keep the power down. Keep the power down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Keep it down. Get aggressive. I at least want to try and get in the top three. That is my 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 goal. Also trying to do that drift and paint. Come on, that was a drift, surely. No. First is quick. Oh, this time that little bit. Oh, this time there a little bit, indeed. Really wide. They will attack the space. If you leave them space, they will attack it. I can confirm that is true. And they are not messing in this race. Definitely most difficult race so far. lack of grip as well, which is not fun. It's more and more snowy. And then, I swear they're desperate for taking it up. They are desperate at this point. Keep going, keep going. I don't know if I need to come first. Do I need to come first? to like complete the event. I, I guess we're gonna find out. Still got one lap to go. I, I, can't, I can't see him catching this guy up. I'm having to defend and fight a little bit too much. And I just don't think I've got the, the pace to be honest as well. I just see him a lot quicker. Around some of the corners I can, I can make up some time. If they get close they just start barging me and it's is now closing. Grip! Just fully send it. Just completely send it. Oh, too far back. so well. Getting late. Yes, I did it. Did the last objective. Oh, don't you dare overtake me now. No, 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 no. 
they are racy. I like the AI actually. I wasn't sure at first, but they're good. They're good. I like it. Woo! I don't think I need to come first. I, I don't know how it works. I'm guessing it's on the podium. You are definitely not making any friends out there. You can keep the aggression, because that'll help you get the wins, but just make sure you don't push things too far. Well, what, what's too far? <laughs> Is that a warning? I wasn't too bad. I don't know. Did we do okay? Did we do it? We, we good? I think, we're, I think we're okay. I think we... Perhaps didn't get as many dollars. But on the whole, I think we're okay. Sub-Zero Icebreaker, which I'm guessing is on... Is in New York. The Roosevelt Bridge. We're basically turning the river into an ice lake thing. <laughs> That's basically what's about to go down. I can't wait. Let's begin. Oh, do buy a new car. So, oh, I just see that. That's actually S performance. Okay, I didn't see that before. Do I want pure power? I actually really like the Fiesta as well. I think I might, I might treat myself. Yeah, we're buying it. I'm buying a Fiesta. It's mine. So we now own the Skoda and the Fiesta. I wonder if I can sell that. Maybe. I'm going to stick it with that. I'm, I'm leaving it like that for now. I'm happy with that. Some of the liveries, though, they, that's a nice looking livery. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look. Ice. Ice. It's breaker. smooth, flat, and cold, and the only thing between you and the depths of the abyss. Also, great in a soda to make it really crisp. Good point. Ice, friend, and enemy. Icebreakers are for drift specialists with sweeping corners and long straights custom built for sweet sideways action. You gotta stay cool and keep control on a surface with very little grip. I get it. Cool as in ice. Dude, I told you, stop explaining my jokes. It ruins the effect. Never explain a joke, okay? It's official. It ruins it. Yeah, obviously, grip's going to be an issue. <laughs> um, I don't know if we have spiky tires as well. Is that is that a thing? I would... Yeah, I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. No, nope, they've done a spiky tool. They look very normal. Typical rally tires. It's going to be so icy. So icy. Let's just do three drifts. I feel like I've done three already. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting challenge. Come through. Yeah, so it did seem as long as we are on the podium, we can progress to the next event. I feel like a bit less pressure, I guess. Woohoo! This is fun though, this is really fun. Imagine playing this on multiplayer. <laughs> that would be crazy. And now I need to try and get some speed up. Try and somehow hit 60 for a long period of time. I did not do... I didn't do it often in the, in the first lap, so I'm worried right about that. Did they even do that? Anyway, hold 60 for a long period of time. It, the countdown begins, but I just can't do it for long enough. Hmm. Needs to work out a strategy for that. I really have no idea how I'm going to do that. But I mean first though. That's the main thing. It's the last lap. Yeah. I've run out of time. I think this is probably the best point to do it. Yeah, probably maybe do it there if you get a good... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that last corner on the home straight. But we won. Yay! On top again. Where I belong. I'm ace, I'm ace, I'm really, really ace. That's why it's that, that's that's why it's my name. Here it is. Level five. 
What do we get for that? Yeah, did not do the 60 seconds. 60 seconds. 60 miles an hour. Annoyingly. Oh, so you can also get a first play bonus as well. Fooled Mustang livery. Loads of liveries, patterns, textures. Oh, is that an alien texture? What is that? Fish with a mask. A lanyard. Which I'm guessing is to do with our like, player card that represents us. Ooh. So now it is four separate events. How long does this go on for? Okay, it seems to be locked there. There's like a barrier in my way. How dare you. Uh, let's do a sprint. A sprint. Yes, let's do it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yep, yeah, fair enough. Interesting. Look at that wing. That I mean, that is a wing. That is a wing and a half. That is a vehicle built to go... One popular one, in the US yeah, of FA, USA, <laughs> USA. Sprint cars are high powered, open frame race cars designed primarily to turn left and occasionally right, but mostly left. They Just run left. on short ovals or circular dirt tracks, and strapping yourself into one of these takes no small amount of courage. If you like power, dirt, and going sideways, sprint racing is most definitely for you. I love the wheels. Same. If you want different sized tires on every single one of your wheels sprint's got you covered baby these vehicles are mad who would jump in one of these vehicles they don't make any sense they don't make any sense at all just two massive wings and they just go left do the wings even do anything i'm sure you guys probably know i don't boggles my mind again i've done this event um early on and i struggled so that's partly why. <laughs> they, uh, yeah, they tend to lift up and they're just an absolute handful. Absolute handful indeed. Ooh. Another achievement. They form a 10 meter, a uh, 100 meter drift zone. There's no way I'm going to win this. I'm just keep drifting. I'm just drifting the whole time. I managed to find a way to do this, but I forgot how to do it. I'm just getting barged out of the way. I'm in 10th place. I have no chance in hell of winning this. <laughs> Might have to come back to this at some point. I'm sure I worked out a way to do it. I think it's just trying to manage the, um, the power a bit more. I don't know what I did. I remember doing this the first time I did it, and this this happened. I came last, firmly last place. Uh, yeah, it's not really going very well, is it? Yeah, great, last place. I don't really feel like I did anything particularly that bad, but it was just it's it just about managing the power. It's an absolute little monster. I think we're going to end it on the negative. To be honest, I think we're going to end it there. Um, I'll have to come back and give that another go. It, yeah, I used to do it a few times probably. Especially on, on hard difficulty. They were just barging me out of the way. I was just constantly drifting. I wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I'll come back. I will take it on and I will beat it. I promise. See you guys soon. Leave a like on this episode if you guys want to do more Dirt 5 career mode. Have a good day. Be safe. And bye-bye. You see that? Events like these, that's what we're after. The big, headline-grabbing showstoppers. But they don't just let anyone enter. Not even if AJ asks very nicely. So how do I get that golden ticket, I hear you ask? Well, my friend, you gotta work your magic elsewhere. You were in a race here, you get your reputation there, and generally just do the absolute best you can. Well, how'd that happen? Here I am explaining how it works, and there you go. Boom. Main event.